In today's video, we're going to extract acetyl salicylic acid from aspirin pills. The ultimate goal will be to make salicylic acid and finally with that there are many things we can do chemically. My favorite of that is to make a compound known as methyl salicylate, also known as wintergreen. Though I will talk more about this in another video, and for the rest of this video I will refer to acetyl salicylic acid as ASA for convenience. So let's get started. For this we will only need two things. We will need methanol and aspirin pills. The best pills to get are those with as little other ingredients as possible. If you need to, just check the other ingredients solubility in methanol. ASA is pretty soluble in methanol, but the other ingredients should not be. I will be using about 230 pills that are 355 milligrams of ASA apiece. The pill's total weight is about 371 milligrams apiece, so there is very little filler in each pill. Next, I will be grinding them in down into a finer powder with a cheap blender I bought at Walmart. The goal is to grind the pills down fine enough that most of the ASA gets separated from the rest of the fillers in the pill. This will also increase the yield because it will increase the surface area of the powder. Be careful when opening the blender because the ASA dust will go into the air and it's definitely not good to breathe in. Next I add about 400 milliliters of methanol to the flask and turn on stirring. At this point we are going to add the crushed up aspirin into the methanol in chunks as to make it easier for my stir bar. After near all of it is added, the methanol will be completely white and you should just keep stirring it for about 40 minutes. This gives ample time for the ASA to dissolve into the methanol. After 40 minutes, I turn off stirring and put a flask on top to keep from other particles from falling in. I leave it for a little bit more than an hour, which lets all the undissolved filler sink to the bottom. We can now see a small layer of white at the bottom of the beaker, which will be filtered off. I'm going to be using two coffee filters, though you could try to vacuum pump it off, but coffee filters work pretty well. After this, I let my solution dry with a huge box fan and a light heat of about 150 degrees. I'm using a pretty thick Pyrex baking dish, which should work to distribute the heat pretty evenly. I would rather this process go slow, and there will be a ton of methanol going into the air, which is why this can only be done in an extremely well ventilated area. Methanol is very toxic, especially if inhaled. Over the course of about 3 hours, the entire dish dissolved into a very nice, beautiful white crystals. From here, it took about 2 or 3 days to fully dry to a weight of 69.1 grams. This is an overall yield of 85%, which is pretty good. In my next video, I'll be converting this ASA into salicylic acid. From the salicylic acid, I will be making a few different compounds. Thank you so much to my Patreon subscribers for helping support my videos. Mainly, all of this money goes towards new reagents and lab materials I need to create these videos, so thank you again and thank you so much. You can also see all of the videos I plan to put out in the future. And until next time, have a great rest of your day.